Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Idiot in Space. Or, as the rest of the world knows it, Space Engineers. You know, it's just the idiot in space because I'm the one playing it. And today uh, is, you know, the name is very, very apt. And there's, there's a reason for that. And, um, yeah. So, um, some, some breaking occurred. The platform was involved. That's about all I know. Yeah. Uh, so I was out mining an asteroid somewhere else. I forget exactly where it is, but might have been that one. I don't remember. But all I know is that uh, the little red warning popped up and said, hey, you're, uh, no. Was that it? No, it wasn't that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it popped up and said, your inventory's full. Okay, that was the warning. I thought it was the you know, low-power thing, but it wasn't the low-power thing. Um, so it's like, your, your, your inventory's full. I'm like, okay. And then I looked down at my power, and it was about, you know, 50%. I'm like, okay, I can, I can work with that. So I'm like, um, where's the beacon? So I'm looking around, and I'm not seeing a beacon. All I'm seeing is a military escort. And I'm like, where, where the crap is the beacon? Uh, why can't I find the beacon? So I, I, I poke my head out of the asteroid. I start looking around. And there's no beacon. I can't see crap. I'm not seeing anything. And I'm like, where is the asteroid? Where, where's the platform? Because I wasn't on this asteroid. I was on another asteroid. Like I said, it might have been that one over there. It might have been the one that's on the other side of the asteroid. But uh, I, I actually do wish I was recording this at the time, but I wasn't set up to record. I can't just hit F10 or F9 or whatever you guys use for fraps. I use F10. But I can't hit F10 and start recording because I have to set up Audacity. I have to set up the microphone. And, you know, I just... I'm, basically, I just can't record on the fly. I'm not set up for it. Uh, so anyways, um, so I'm like, where, where, where's the beacon? So I went and I floated towards another asteroid. I, I just picked an asteroid and went, okay, let's head that direction and, you know, see what I see. So I floated off to that asteroid. I didn't, it wasn't the right asteroid, but I looked around and I found the platform. I'm like, okay, there's the platform. Um, it might've been that asteroid that I ended up at. Cause I remember looking at it from the bottom. I'm like, ooh, there's the platform. Okay. So I flew towards the platform. And I'm like, okay, so why isn't the beacon? It, did, the, did an asteroid hit the beacon? Well, so I come up over, and the beacon was still there. Um, as you can see, it's still there now. Uh, this damage wasn't done yet. But the only damage that was there was that hole right there. And if you remember, that hole right there is where the reactor was. So nothing was getting power. And at this point, I'm at like 40% juice. I'm like, crap. Um, crap. Because the pilot seat doesn't recharge you if you don't have power. So I'm like, oh, quick, quick, quick. Let's, let's build another reactor. Um, so I, I started building another reactor. And as you can see, I stopped at reactor components because I didn't have any reactor components whatsoever. And the, the assembler kind of doesn't do, cr do crap if it doesn't have power. So I'm like, oh crap, I've got nothing. I have nothing. It, and, and I didn't know what would happen if I died. So I'm like, well, I've got two choices. I can either just say screw it and start from scratch and explain to you guys that, hey, everything went to hell in a handbasket. Um, or I could head off to the military escort and see if I could board that and recharge myself. Because I saw those were my to only two options. It's like, that was it. So I flew off towards the military escort, and I get pretty close to it, about 2,000 meters away from it. And I remember knowing that uh, things are going to go wrong <laughs> once you get close to these things. If you're traveling at more than three meters per second, which as you can see, just by me bursting, we get we can get up over three meters per second fairly quickly. Um, well, crap. <laughs> there was another one. I hate you fucking asteroids. I was wondering how, like, it determines where to fire off the asteroids at. Um, like, does it, does it aim for the beacon or something, or at least around the beacon? Well, the beacon's not active, so I don't think that's true anymore. Uh... So, anyway, maybe it just 
targets a beacon in general? I don't know. Or does it go, okay, this is the important part at the beginning of the level, aims asteroids at that, and then you can go build a platform, a giant, huge battle station off around another asteroid, and you'll never be touched. I don't... I, I have no idea. I haven't played this long enough to find out. But, uh... Yeah, so I'm staring down this military escort, and I scoot over in front of it, so I figure, okay, I'll let it come to me, because if you stay... I hear that if you stay still, it won't attack you. And I'm impatient, so I'm doing little per little bursts to go to get closer to it, but apparently my bursts were too long, and it shot me dead. And I'm like, uh So it's like respawning in three, two. I'm like, oh, I guess I'll see what happens when I respawn. Do I respawn at the platform? Because if I respond here at the platform, this, this world would be done. Because, you know, screw it. I can't do anything from here. If I don't have a working ref uh, assembler to make reactor parts, I, the world was done. I was It was over. Because uh, I was just going to die over and over and over again. Well, that's not what happens when you die. When you die, uh, at least in my situation, whoop, you respawn in one of these. <laughs> It looks slightly different because when I got it, it was banged up pretty badly. Um, now, I don't know if it was banged up that badly because that's just how they spawn. Or because I kind of suck at flying it and I smash into a rock a couple times. Because I spawn like 4,000 meters you know, away. And I'm like looking around and I can't find the freaking asteroid again. I'm like, I want to find the platform. And you get lost. When you're dealing with three three dimensions, you get lost fairly easily. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, I found the platform. I got back here. And I'm going to make this guy my base for now. Uh, until I can make a big honking ship. Uh, but it'll work as a base for a couple of reasons. One, I can hide it behind the asteroid. Because the meteor showers always come from this direction of the sun so if you hide in the the shadow of the asteroid uh the comments won't hit you Woo. and uh it's got uh, an actual cargo container that's something i didn't have before it's got an assembler it's got a refinery we have a medical room um the the, the gravity generator all all kinds of important stuff that i can use and it's a ship, so I could actually fly it around and take it to asteroids and use its gravity generator to make mining easier. But that's not what I'm going to do today. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to work on my little ship. Now, I don't know how well this is going to work because the little ship is started right there. And as we can see, it's right in the middle of the path of the comets. And it's going to be really hard to do anything because there's no gravity here. So it's going to be it's going to be a little tough to do this. Military mine layer. Oh, mines as in boom kind of things. Yes, okay. Uh so what I'm going to do, I should have enough stuff for now. At least I sure as hell hope I have enough stuff because mining by hand is glitchy and makes for bad video. It's just boring in general. I fell asleep yesterday doing it. Uh, where's my... Quick. Let's see what all I got. I got... Uh, uh, I don't have much gold. Not making any more. I have plenty of platinum, plenty of magnesium, lots of stone. What do I just not have a lot of? Silver and gold. Not a lot of. That might be a problem later on, but I don't know. I guess I shall find out. Uh, so let us get started. I guess technically I could just restart the ship, like over here or something. Um, I could just create a new small ship right here behind where the comments are. But you know what? I'm stubborn. I want this ship. 
And once I get it with uh, thrusters on it and a uh, cockpit, I can actually make things work. So let's see, how am I going to design this thing? What I originally wanted to do, which I don't think I can, well, I can do because now I can just destroy the platform because it doesn't matter anymore. Because <laughs> the because screw the platform. Um, so what I'm thinking about doing, I'm going to make this the base. I need, let's see. Do I want to make this out of heavy armor blocks? No, not really, because heavy armor blocks don't seem to do anything useful. Oh, we locked up again. Great. Are we saving? I don't know. Uh, for the record, if you're ever flying around, don't fly straight at an asteroid at full speed. Uh, because you'll nev you never know when it's going to save. And it turns out when the game saves, it doesn't freeze the game. It just freezes your picture. Uh, this little dent right there that we can't see because, yeah, there we go. That little dent right there is from that yellow ship. I was coming from that asteroid right there. Uh, and, uh, you know, the game locked up. But I'm holding back. Like, I'm trying to slow down. And I'm like, well, it's just saving, so it's just freezing up the game. It's nothing major. And then all of a sudden, I'm like an extra, you know, 100 meters into the platform. Psst. And I smashed up the, the, the platform. Uh, the... Uh, heavy armor blocks seem to be kind of pointless. I replaced all of these. Like, this big huge chunk here where all the, the, or the, the metal infrastructure is, that was one asteroid hit. One comet hit. Uh, so I was starting to replace them all with heavy armor blocks. And I got to about... Yeah, about here. And it blew out this entire chunk. I'm like, you know what? Screw it. It destroyed all of the heavy armor blocks in one hit. It was nothing. So, the heavy armor blocks are kind of pointless. So, I'm going to build this thing with the small armor blocks. Uh, P. P for Keller. Don't know why, but P for Keller. What Keller do I want to make this ship? Let's make you red. I can Keller it later, so it's not all that important. Uh, three wide? Will three wide do me? No, I want five wide, and then I'll put the other landing gear directly under that, that one. Alrighty. So, these three will be the center. And that needs to be pulled out, because I missed. I love all the little details, just like the sounds you hear, like when you fire up the, the, the grinder. Crap, comets. Okay, that one missed. Yeah, they're hitting the asteroid there. Uh, yeah, uh, okay, anyways. Uh, boop. Boop. Alright. And then I need... Well, you know what? I need to solder these guys. They should be fairly quick, but it's going to be blinding light. Um, don't look directly at the solder. I don't know what kind of soldering torch this is. Uh, well, welding torch, technically. I'm used to computers and stuff, so, uh, I see... You know, it, this is soldering to me, but it's welding, I know. Um, I don't know what kind of welding torch this is. So I can't tell you... I can't say anything like that, but, uh... Apparently, whatever it is, it's hold, it holds its own oxygen supply. Um, at least I would think it holds its own oxygen supply. It would have to, wouldn't it? I don't know how all this stuff works. This thing might be a little wide. But it should work, at least. It should serve my purposes. I hope. I really hope. <laughs> I guess I'll find out. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do... I'm going to put... The cockpit. No, no. Let's let's not take it easy. Let's not make this thing small. Let's make this a large thing. Nice big thing. Big honking thing. So then I'll put the cockpit here instead of back there like I was originally going to. And then back here I'll put a giant cargo container. Um, seven. And, uh, you know, a large reactor. That kind of thing. 
and then that way we have uh, all the storage space and all the power we can ever want. And then I can connect uh, drills to the cargo container. And then I can go drilling for a freaking half an hour. And have everything I, need I could ever want. That was a weird sound. That was a very soft little thing. Let's just jump through the soldering right now. Alright, so back at it. Let's actually pop this out one, just like that. Because I don't want to do the- I don't want to make this thing small. Because that's the mistake I make when I build pretty much anything, is that I'm too conservative. I make things too small. Um... Because I know to make things look really, really good, you gotta make them look- you gotta make them small. Let's see, I need a motor, a couple of displays, computer, and some glass. Which I'm making in the little yellow ship. I should probably put a beacon on the little yellow ship, shouldn't I? Whoa. That way I can find it again. Because I get lost in space fairly easily. And I'm sure nobody can blame me for that. Um, yeah, there we go. So, bulletproof glass. I don't remember how I, how many I needed. So, let's just grab a bunch. Same with the display. I don't remember how many I needed. So, let's just grab ten. And I think I only need one motor. But again, I don't remember how many I needed. So, let's just grab that. And let's go with that. I might need them later on. During building. I'm going to need to make a lot of thrusters too. Whoops. I hit the mouse. Alright, is this enough stuff? No! I forgot the computers. And I need 15 of the computers. Oh, and I need what now? Uh... Oh, I need 30 bulletproof glass and 15 computers. Somebody remember that and tell me. 30 bulletproof glass and... 15 computers. Whoa. Well, I got 10 bulletproof glass, so all I need is 20 bulletproof glass, so... Uh, bulletproof glass... 20... And computers, computers, computers. I do. And I just need... 15. No. Not 10. 15. Thank you. Alright, let's try this again. Would be nice if I could put the little yellow ship around here, so that way I don't have to go that far, but... Yeah, with all those comets around... You know, I can't risk losing my little yellow ship. It's got all my stuff on it now. Alright, so we have a working cockpit. And I'm just putting in the bulletproof glass for extra power. For reasons that, that escape me. I'm not 100% sure. I mean, does... This doesn't help when you get hit by a comet. Does it help when you get... When you're, like, in a PvP battle or something? Alrighty. This is gonna look derpy. But hey, if it works, it works. Alright, so... I want... No, I don't want to turn my jetpack off. I want G. I'll eventually get used to the controls. Uh, let's do a small conveyor... Now, I am planning for the future when building this. What I'm going to do is set it up so that I have all the parts I need. Um, oh, uh, so that I can expand this ship as well. Because, like, this yellow ship right here, it's got no external connections for conveyors or anything. It's got this thing. This, uh, uh, what's this called? A connector, which doesn't connect right now. <sighs> uh, basically all it does is it, it's a giant, uh, ejector, from what I can tell. So far, it's just a giant, giant e ejector. So you can spit things out. Uh, let's grab 20 of you. There, I should have enough stuff to last for a little while at least. Woo! Off we trot. Um, but yeah, uh, I was hoping... When I was fiddling around with it, I was hoping that the connector connected two systems together, like the, the, the big red ship and the platform. 
I hope you could I was hoping you could connect them together, but you can't. Alrighty, and then back to one. Put a block there, put a block there, there, and there, and then you have reinforcement around the conveyor belt. Uh, but you still have space for the tubes, the conveyor tubes. And I really like that color red. It's just a really nice color red. I don't know why. I mean, not on these guys. They look like they've, all, they've been all beat to hell. But on the, the small conveyor here, that's a really nice color red. Okay. Uh, what I could probably do and what I should probably do is rip out that guy right there. Uh, I heard two pops. Oh. Oh, I see what I did. I see what I did. Oh, better. All right. And then I can put a thruster down there. But I need thruster components and large tubes. And I need a lot of large tubes. Uh, yeah. Boop. But large tubes are heavy. Um... Well, they're not really heavy, I guess. Uh, let's see. We're going in six different... Yeah, six different directions, so I need at least six. Uh, but let's go with eight. Uh, but yeah, I really like how this game is actually not based on weight or mass. Uh, it's based on volume. Though mass should come into effect. Because right now, I am carrying uh, six ton... Uh, mass wise and I'm under one G of force like if you look in the lower right it's a, oh I'm under half a G of force so that you know six ton six and a half ton is actually weighing three ton right now so I'm carrying three ton of weight at the moment so it's a little weird I do have thruster components awesome uh, what else do I need I know I need thruster components I think I need construction components. I know I need steel plates, and I know I need large steel tubes. So I think that's all I need for thrusters. So what I'm going to do is that spot directly below the conveyor. Ooh, is that a good spot? Well, I'm going to have plenty of other spots. So yeah, I'm going to throw a thruster, a small thruster, directly below the conveyor there. G, uh, thruster, thruster, small thruster. Uh, let's see... Insert. Alright, that should do it. Yep. Yep, that'll point me in the right direction. And then I can go up. And then technically, I could also put a thruster directly above the uh, small conveyor. And then I can go down as well. Alright, and let us do the, exactly that. Now, I can't do it from side to side because I have every intention of connecting side to side. Uh, page up. Pig up. I have every intention of attaching or doing side to side on or for attaching the drills. Because I plan on having two drills and they're going to connect via conveyor tubes to the conveyor here. And then behind this conveyor, there is going to be a... Where are you? Not large. I'm going to use a medium cargo container. So it's going to go literally right there. Okay. And then behind it... Ooh, did I put that in the right spot? I guess I'm about to find out. Yes, I did. Good, 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 good. And I'll show you why. You got to worry about that. Boop. Okay, now the cargo container here are kind of cool because that little doorway right there is the uh, for the small tubes. Now, I can access it just like everything else. So now I can see the medium cargo container there. Uh, I can access it, but only the small conveyor tubes can access it. However, the large conveyor tubes are accessed via these doors. So if you're using a grinder, if you have a grinder ship, 
the grinders aren't built with the small doors like the small conveyor here or this side of the medium cargo containers. So you have to use the large conveyors to do it. And it takes up a lot of space. Um, the drills, if I remember correctly, I think they only have the small doors. They don't have the large doors. Uh, but they might have both. I know they have the small doors. But I don't remember. Not really. Alrighty, so... There's that. And then from here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get another conveyor here. And then cook that guy up. Now, I've made this ship before. I made this on my other world, so I know it's actually a pretty sturdy design. Oh, system energy low. Run away, run away. Run for your life. Uh, I've built that, that uh, style of ship before, so I know it's a pretty solid style of ship. Whoa. Come on. In the hole. In the hole. There we go. Uh, so I know what I'm doing. At least have a general idea of what I'm doing when it comes to building that ship. Uh, let's see if we can move this just in a little bit. Whoa. Nope, nope, nope. I see, I see sun. Let's tuck ourselves back into the shade because we don't want any sun. I don't want any comets heading towards my little ship. It's the only thing I have left. It's my only lifeline. Uh, I can't believe I got screwed on that. I got shot by a military vessel. I haven't suffocated, though. I guess that's useful. And technically, technically, I didn't... Um, I was going to say, technically, I didn't die to my own stupidity. Though, it was kind of stupid to go against a military vehicle like that. But I had no choice. I mean, it was that or death, basically. Um... What was I do What was I saying? Yes, I made this design before in just a little test world that I made, and it worked fairly well. Um, this was the tugboat that I mentioned. I had designed this ship. It was my tugboat. So I had six thrusters on the back, four thrusters on the front. Probably should have put more thrusters on the front. That way I could stop what I was tugging. Yeah, so that'll be nice, that'll be nice. Uh, G, and I need a reactor. Now, I don't want to go half-assed on this thing, so I'm going to use a large reactor. Now, these things are expensive, but they're valuable, they're useful. Uh, steel plate construction component, I need metal grate, reactor components, motors, and computers. I'm not going to remember all of that. I'm probably going to make two or three trips to this thing. You know, I just really hope that an asteroid doesn't hit this thing. I will be pissed if an asteroid hits this thing. All right, so I need metal grid, reactor components, motors, and computers. Like I said, I'm not going to remember that for the trip down here, so forgive me. Wee. No, spin this way. Thank you. It's hard to figure out which way to spin when you're in zero G. But there we go. Uh, so I needed metal grids. Not a lot of them. I know less than that, but whatever. Computers. Let's just grab 20 of them. Uh, reactor components, which I don't have. And motors, which I do have. So I need to make reactor components. So what do I need to make reactor components? Gravel and silver. Wait, what? I thought I needed uranium. Those are gravity generator components. Eh, whatever. So... I need silver. Silver. How much silver do I have? 35. Not a lot. And I need, what, 50 of these guys? Well, let's see how many I can make. Hopefully I can make enough. Nope, I definitely can't make enough. I can't make 100, but I can make enough reactor components to do what I need to do. That's good. Alrighty, awesome. We'll have power by the end of this episode. We won't be able to fly yet because I still got to place all the other... Uh, 
thrusters. But we'll have power at least. That's awesome. That's a cute little ship already. It's kind of nice. Yeah, I know. I'm building this reactor directly above the hole that's right there in the bottom left-hand corner there. Yeah, that's, that's probably not the best place to be building this thing. But I can't move it right now because I don't have anything to move it with. Uh, what I would do... What I would do if I had another ship that had a landing gear right now... I would hop into this ship, turn off that landing gear, like unpark it... Pick this guy up and move him. <laughs> like I would land on this guy, activate that ship's uh, parking brake. I call it the parking brake, but it's actually the landing gear being activated. But you activate it with P, so I call it the parking brake. Um, so activate the parking brake, and then I can literally just pick this ship up and fly off with it. I guess technically I could put a landing gear on that thing, but... Yeah, not gonna happen. Alright, so I'm gonna end the episode here. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I would be thrilled if you guys would let me know what you think. Uh, so far I've actually got a... This video just aired. Uh, the first one just aired. I just keep hearing the music, and the music freaks me out. Uh, but the, the the first video just aired on my channel. So I don't have uh, uh, much response from it yet. But I've already got a thumbs up. And that was more than I got from Kerbal Space Program. So that's encouraging. Hey, I got something out of it. Uh, so, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, give me hints. Give me advice. I don't know this game very well i've read the wiki but because this is an early alpha game an early alpha game it's an early access game that happens to also be alpha um yeah it, the, but because it's early access the wiki is a little limited right now so if you guys know something that might be helpful you know let me know um but you know i could probably help you guys out too if you want to figure out something let me know and I'll see if I can track down how to do it or, you know, whatever. And I'll let you guys know. Um, uh, well, technically, we don't have power on this ship, do we? Well, I did say that I was going to end this episode with power. So let's go get some uranium. Oh, shit. Man, these things come so bloody frequently. They, they're just always, always coming. And it's insane. Is there any more... No, and Little Red is still there. That's good. Okay. Yeah, this... I have... My goal, my end game, is to have that platform fixed. <laughs> like, actually working. Uh, but I wanted to make it, like, a full base or something. I'll know I won if I have that platform working and safe. Like, I have turrets and stuff up for it. Um, so, that, that will be I won. And then from there, I'll continue with uh, building things like, uh, let's just put two. Uh, with building things like a uh, base and ships and, you know, have some really, have some serious fun as this game uh, is developed. Because this game, this game just has so much potential. I have so much fun just playing it right now. And this, my friends, is the reason why I'm using the conveyors. Is because I can look. This is the, the, the cargo container. I can look in the cargo container and I can load the larger actor. We have power! Yay! How much power do we have? I have 45 days of power. Well, that helps when I don't have anything that I'm powering. <laughs> I don't have drills. I only have two thrusters. The landing gears don't take any power at all. Which, I'm assuming the landing gears actually work on uh, superconductive magnets. Because that's not technically touching the platform right now. Uh, but it will not move, no matter what. So I'm assuming it works on the superconducting magnet thing that I've been hearing so much about. Um, like, uh, I don't know if you've seen it on YouTube. Uh, I wouldn't know what to search for to find it. But uh, it was a prototype for a maglev. But you had to have the magnet cooled to, like, almost uh, absolute zero. But once you did that, the magnet would hover at a very specific spot above the metal 
the metal track and it would stay there no matter what you did with it it would stay at that height you could push it along the track and it would go along the track but it would never go up and down or left or right from the track it was actually kind of cool it almost kind of seemed like it defied physics but it was using advanced physics it was really cool all right, so I'm going to end the episode here before I keep going any longer. And I'm going to say to you guys, as always, keep playing the game and have fun. And duck when the comments are coming. And really, really hope I don't lose a uh, big red here. This is... I'm going to... Somebody give me a name for this thing. Um, yeah, it kind of looks like a fire truck now with all the red on it. I'm going to have to change this color. Color it up a little bit. But yeah, somebody give me a name for this guy. So, see you guys.